yearly, but it hasn't in 20 years. Third down and three. Drones alone in the backfield. They'll pass this one in. Pressure set. Dan Wilkinson, the Ohio specs from this team. Very un Bill Parcells like. Intercepted Dre Bly. Dre Bly with his fourth interception of the year. And Baldy, he completely undercut the in route on that one. The center right now in the middle. Right here, number 75. And he was looking. Well. Yeah, he's looking for more playing time. Three timeouts for the Browns. Oh, that ball. That's a free ball. That McCorder got it. intercepts for Detroit. And whenever you see that thing pop up in yep. the air, most of the time it comes down in the hands of your opponents. Who got the block here, Ronnie? Because this round in 96. Third down and four. Regular personnel for the Browns. They don't get fancy. The short out intended for Green. Punt, two interceptions, and two more punts. And those were three and outs on those punts. Third down and four. Looking for the slant. It's not there. You can't hold the ball that long. Sack. Jared DeVries. Absolutely. And if this offense keeps playing like this, it could change today. Third down and 12. Intercepted. Goodman. We just talked about going to that side. And another takeaway for Dick Geron's Lion defense. Well, that's eight turnovers now by the Browns here in the last three weeks. Goodman replacing the injured Fernando Bryant comes up with his 98 yards on the day as you see Dilfer in the passing game. He's up top. Very capable receiver. High formation, Hyden in motion. Looking for Hyden, goes back the other way, and that will be a sack. And that's DeVries, his second sack of the day. And we talked about the depth in the Lions defensive line. Well, Showing up. Trent Dilfer and Jeff Garcia came out in 1990 when scoring a touchdown, losing that game by a point. You see the timeouts in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Trying to throw the screen. It developed late. And Dilfer banged his... But it won't matter. They'll go back five. Lions playing strictly zone. Three deep. Another flag goes down. And a big hit on Dilfer. Wilkinson. Chased him down, and he gets the love from the teammates. To Carolina, the offense had three chances to clinch the victory in the fourth quarter, but failed all three times on ten plays. They produced minus two yards. Third down. Almost intercepted by R.W. Boy, he went up and got that one. Entire CBS crew with you. First play from scrimmage for the Browns as Trent Dilfer... 33 years of age, out of the shotgun, a low snap, a fumble on the play, Dilfer trying to fall on it, and this one is recovered by Baltimore. After the penalty on first down and long, Dilfer under center, under pressure, hit as he throws, it's incomplete. Still a very good football team. Second and one, they did not pick up the first down, so an unfavorable spot there, and the pass from Dilfer is knocked down at the line of scrimmage, Jared Johnson getting his big offensive coordinator position but the first time he's been calling the plays for an NFL team Dilfer drops back on third and short hit as he released intended for Antonio Bryant and it was Ray Lewis who got there first got a hand on the football and on fourth down Cleveland will have to punt affection on his elbow a very strange story there we'll have more on Braylon a little bit later here's Dilfer wrapped up and brought down sacked in the backfield Tommy Polly, Baltimore's on, able to get there first. Two minutes to go to try and put together a drive and get some points before half and change the momentum in this game. Trent Dilfer, the former Baltimore Raven under center on first down from the 30, and his pass deflected. Uh, Dalis Thomas got it. When again, Dilfer out of his shotgun. William Green is the long setback. Here is Dilfer, hit as he throws. It's loose on the ground. And it's recovered by Baltimore. 
There is a penalty mark. A little surprised by the fact that Trent hasn't gotten off to a better start, but this is the big surprise. Look at Anthony Wright playing with such great confidence, 16 of 20. Just the on November 28, 2004, the last time it happened, Ed Reed had to hobble to the sideline. He's replaced by Chad Williams. Dofer on third down. His pass deflected at the line of scrimmage and nearly intercepted it. It was Will Dempse, a diving stab at it. Couldn't get to it. But Baltimore, if that score holds up, between Tennessee and Cincinnati. Second down, seven for the Browns. Dilfer under center. Good blitz pickup by Drones. And an awkward looking pass play. They call it incomplete. Problems a week ago. Maybe influenced the officials in that call. And Bryant got away with a hand of the face mask and roll that time. After the penalty, first and ten, Cleveland. Dilfer hit as he throws from the back. It's intercepted by Lewis. And then it comes loose, but it appeared that Lewis was down already. It was Suggs who got a hand on it at the line of scrimmage. He came from a blind side to get to Dilfer. Cut into this deficit even more now, down 16-3, but a critical third and six now to start the fourth. Dilfer out of the shotgun. Dilfer wrapped up and brought down to the backfield. The third sack today by the Ravens defense at Dallas Thomas. To get them the win against the Bears on the road. Clock continues to run. Nine and change left. Dilfer goes play action. Wrapped up. He barely gets it off in time and nearly comes up with a completion. Not very pretty numbers from Dilfer on the day. 15 to 27. Third and 21. Dilfer. Bryant, the closest man there. O'Brien, and you think he's going to have a big year. I really do believe so. Third and one for Cleveland. They are in Cincinnati territory. First possession on the flea flicker. Dilfer looking long. Puts it up top and knocked away. Unable to get it to Dennis Northcutt cleanly. Delta O'Neill with the coverage and Cleveland taking a chance. A gamble on a third and one with a long ball. Well, he actually should have come over here to the other side of the field because he actually had Antonio Bryant wide open. Instead, he saw him, but then he decides to go all the way clear back to the other side. And that play is going to be covered by Delta O'Neill. Nearly intercepted the pass, but had to from the running game. And they're going to pound this Bengals defense, and they're going to pound it in between the tackles. The 11th play of the drive, a critical third and three with a double tight end set. Drones releases out of the backfield. Dilfer will put it in the air. Dilfer throws off the ricochet. And the Browns come up with it. Cozy Coleman. The right. That's defense, which was much improved last year. More impressed with the defensive effort. No points for the Jets so far. No, yeah. Good point. Third and three. Some movement. And no penalty markers down as Dilfer carried it himself. And Dilfer may have lost the ball before he was down. That looked awkward from the very beginning. Oh, yeah. He's not. He doesn't have the ball. And Dilfer now jawing at Medea Williams. Bengals claim that they've got it. And they do. They have it. It appeared to be a busted play, but it was a quarterback draw. Dilfer trying to make a play after the snap and end up losing the ball before he hit the ground. Kiwan Ratliff on the recovery right at midfield. Cincinnati takes over. And that's why you're going to see him also have a big game. From the 19 of first and 10 for the Browns. Green stays on the field. Play action. Dilfer throwing up top. High floater. Jump ball opportunity and it's broken up. Dennis Northcutt matched up with Torrey James incomplete. It took him around for a long time to help groom the so many young linebackers around him. He is the veteran of the group. And a second and ten now from the 21. Dilfer throws to hot. And intercepted. Picked off by Odell Thurman. And who made the hit? Other than that, they're doing okay. <laughs> well, you're really looking at the bright side. Third and two. Here's Dilfer. And that one to a wide open Brian. He's unable to make the connection. And Dilfer has to know that one's on him. Yeah, he has to stand in there. He, 
was under pressure.